Next problem is problem number 7. The equivalent resistance of three resistors A, B, and C connected in parallel is 1.714 ohms. If A is twice of B and C is half as much as of B, find the equivalent resistance when the three of them are connected in series. So, hinibinibigay yung ating um, figure dito sa problem 7, but it is obvious or simply lang naman yung ating uh, circuit for problem 7. So, we have three resistors A, B, and C that are connected in parallel. So, ang total um, ohms or equivalent resistance when they are connected in parallel is 1.714 ohms. So, we can generate na yung mga equation using the condition. Okay? So, lagay natin solution. So, kung connected sila sa parallel, ang um, formula natin sa par parallel is 1 over RT for the equivalent resistance. 1 over RA plus 1 over R sub B plus 1 over R sub C. Okay, this is the first condition. If A is twice of B and C is half of B, okay, R sub A is twice of B. Okay, and ito, when parallel connected. Okay, parallel connected. Yeah. Okay. If RA is twice of B and C is half as much as half as much of B. So putting one half or 0.5 R sub B. Okay, find the equivalent resistance when the three of them are connected in series. So, para makuha natin yung R total when they are connected in series, kailangan mo kung mo natin yung resistance si A, B, and C. So, ito, pwede natin i-substitute. Let's say this is A. Substitute to A. Para magkaroon tayo ng one equation, one unknown. Kasi, papalitan natin si RA ng R in terms of RB. Papalitan natin ito in terms of RB ulit. Para puro RB na lang at makukuha natin ay yung value ni RP. Okay. So, 1 over R. T, ano yung R total? 1.714 ohms. Okay. Equals 1 over RA. RA is 2RB. Okay. Plus 1 of RB as it is yan. Plus 1 over 0 0.5 of RB. That is RC. Okay. Ngayon, i-evaluate natin to. Pwede natin yung i-multiply para matanggal yung RB. RB. Ayan. Cancel out ngayon yung mga yan. Matitira sa kapila. 1 over 714 RB. So, RB over 1.714 ohms is equal to 1 half plus 1. 1 over 1 is 1 plus 1 over 0 0.5. Okay. So, RB is over 1.714 R sub B over 1.714 ohms is equal to ito I. That is 9, 7 over 2. So R sub B is equal to 7 over 2 times 1.714 ohms. So R sub B is equal to 5.999. So that is equal to 6 ohms na, no? R sub B is 6 ohms. Okay, therefore, si R sub A mo ngayon is twice of R sub B, which is 6. So, R sub A is 12 ohms. And also, R sub C is 0.5 of 6 ohms. So, R sub C is 6 ohms, 6 ohms. Ayan. 0.5 which is 3 ohms. 0.5 of 6. So, ito na yung mga value ng mga R natin. RA, RB, 6. RA, tapos si RC. But they are, hindi ito yung required. Okay, ang required is, um, what is the total resistance when they are connected in parallel? So, when connected, when series connected, So, R total is RA plus RB plus RC. So, R total is 6 ohms plus 
12 ohms plus 3 ohms so our total in the 21 ohms so this is our answer for number number 7 okay next diretso na tayo sa problem number 8 Okay, tingnan natin yung problem number 8. Three resistors 10, 12, and 15 are connected in parallel. Evaluate the value of current to the parallel system. That will make the current in a 10 ohm resistor equal to 2 amperes. So, maganda i-drawing natin itong problem. Number... Uh, problem number 8. Okay, that long resistor. One, two, three, two, three, 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 12, tapos ito yung 15. Okay. Turn it 10, 12, and 15. So, dito, ang ba, may circuit tayo dyan. So, may dadaan na I total. Tapos, meron dito ang dadaan na I sub 1. Okay? I sub 1. Okay. Sabi niya, 3 resistors 10, 12, and 15 connected in parallel. Evaluate the value of current to the parallel system. Okay, ito yung pinapahanap niya, pinapa-evaluate niya. That will make the current in the 10 ohm in the 10 ohm resistor equal to 2 ampere. So, ipapeg na natin na yung current na dadaan. I-fix na natin or ipapeg na natin yung, na yung current na dadaan kay 10 ohm resistor is equal to, should be equal to 2 ampere. Ano daw yung total current na dapat dumaan po sa ating parallel connected na circuit. Okay, so madali lang naman yan, we can use current divider principle. Okay, pero kailangan muna natin isimplify ito. Kailangan natin kunin yung parallel nito. Okay, we should get 12 parallel kay 15. Ayan, simplify natin. So let's say this is R, R sub 2. Okay, R sub 2 is 12 times 15. 12 plus 15, so that is... 6.67 ohms. Okay. 6.67 ohms. So, i-redraw natin yung circuit. Magiging ganito na lang siya. Dalawa na lang. Okay. So, dahil yung linya na. Okay. Ayan. So, I total, dadaan dyan. Tapos, meron tayong 10 ohms. Tapos, dito meron tayong R sub 2 na 6.67 ohms. Um, uh, after tayo dito kay ano, ito ay sub 1 nakapeg na ng 2 ampere. Ito yung kailangan natin malaman. What is I total? Okay, by current divider principle current okay. by current divider principle okay, kailangan natin yung I total so, ang formula natin if we have I sub 1 so, mangyayari, ang katapat ni I sub 1 is yung 6.67 so, 6.67 plus okay, plus 10 times I sub total. Ito yung unknown. So, arrange muna natin yung equation. So, ito ay okay. Papalit lang. So, I total. Okay. Ito, divide both sides. So, magiging I. Divide both sides by this factor. Ito. Okay. So, divide. Yung buo. Divide. So, I1. Madi-divide siya ng 6.67. Okay, over 
6.67 plus 10. Ayan. Ganyan. So, I total is, I want 2 ampere. So, 2 ampere. Ito is in ohms. Ohms, makakancel yan. So, magiging ampere na lang. So, pwede natin lagay. Sige. 6 point. Or, pwede kasi umakit itong 6.67 para maganda namang tignan. Okay, pwede ganyan na or pwede ganito. Ito kasi 6.67 plus yung aakit niya. So, pwede um, 2 ampere okay, times 6.67 plus 10 okay, over 6.67. So, this is in ohms. This is in ohms. Ayan. So, multiply yan. So, I total is equal to 5 ampere. Answer ito yun. Ayan. Okay. 